Hi, my name is Dr. Arvind Deepra, and I am the founder of Healing Power Ministry, an author, a mental health coach, and a licensed and ordained minister of Lord Jesus Christ. This is uh, the course that I'm going to talk about some important things about discipleship. Now, in this first video, I'm going to talk about the introduction to discipleship. What is discipleship? Discipleship is the process of following Jesus Christ and learning from him. The term disciple comes from the Greek word metis, which means learner or a student. In the context of Christian walk, a disciple is someone who actively follows Jesus, seeks to learn from his teachings, and strives to learn according to his examples. Jesus himself called his first followers to be disciples. When you read in Matthew 4.19, Jesus says, Come, follow me, and I will send you out to fish for people, or I would teach you how to fish men. This call to follow Jesus is at the heart of what it means to be disciple. The importance of discipleship in the Christian faith, we're going to talk now. Discipleship is essential to the Christian faith because it is how we grow and mature in our relationship with God. Jesus' final command to his disciples, you know, what was it? He said in Matthew 28, 19 to 20, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now this, this call was called, or this command was called a great commission. And also he said that, Go and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Now this command shows that discipleship is not just about personal growth, but also about spreading the teaching of Jesus to others, helping them to grow him and live by his way. Some biblical examples of discipleship in the Bible, we see the Bible provides numerous examples of discipleship with Jesus and his 12 disciples being the most prominent Jesus invested significant time teaching guiding and modeling godly behavior for his disciples for instance in Luke 6 12 to 16 we read Jesus chose 12 men to be his apostles whom he would train closely we read one of those days Jesus went out to a mountain to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them, whom he also designated apostles. Now these men, such as Peter, James, John and others, learned directly from Jesus, observed his miracles and listened to his teachings. Now another example is the relationship between Paul and Timothy. Now Paul, an apostle, mentored Timothy and guiding him in his faith journey. In 2 Timothy 2.2, we read that Paul writes to Timothy, And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. This verse highlights the uh, multi-generational aspect of discipleship where Timothy is encouraged to pass on what he has learned to others who can continue the circle of teaching and mentoring. Now, discipleship is a journey of transformation, where we learn to become more like Jesus Christ. It involves studying the Bible, praying every day, having fellowship with God, as well as fellowship with other believers, and actively applying Jesus' teachings to our lives. As we grow in discipleship, we not only deepen our relationship with God, but also become better equipped to lead others in the same path. We will meet in the next session. 
God bless you.